uh, Ajay Sharma. He will be presenting on post-ICL cataract surgery with FLEX. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, thank you, AIS, uh, for having me here. So uh, this is something which I'll be presenting a couple of cases. Uh, now, uh, as we know, the we have done ICLs way back, uh, uh, 15, 20 years, and now the patients are coming back with cataracts. And uh, though we uh, do it with the manual extraction and then do your manual uh, FACO, but uh, this is something what we tried in a couple of cases uh, where <coughs> uh, uh, it was done in one uh, procedure extraction along with the uh, flag surgery. Though it is not recommended by the Johnson guys, but this is what we did and we found it can be done very nicely. So this is a case of 52-year-old female uh, presented in the OPD having, uh, on examination found having cataract and history of uh, ICL in 2009, maybe many years back. And uh, post-operatively, post-ICL patient was happy, but the right eye was amblyopic. And so we planned the right eye explant in two procedures, and which was the explantation, and then a second procedure was MICL monofocal. And, uh, but for the second, uh, first I didn't have a much uh, good vision, it was 618, and uh, with the spherical and cylinder. Now, surprisingly, what we see here, these are this, the difference here, the cylinder is too high. For the second high, we decided to do a planned flex uh, and ICL explant with monofocal plus IUL because uh, we, uh, cylinder was really very high, we never thought of, we didn't uh, go for a, or toric lens with uh, minus eight or 10 diopters it was showing. So this is, uh, we tried it uh, and this is how it is in the uh, flex. This is a uh, uh, treatment plan summary, what we see here. And uh, this is the capsulotomy, what we, th we thought we'll be doing. And so, uh, <coughs> This is the making the vacuum and the initial parts. I can skip this because it's not. So this is just the docking and all, but it was done very well that there wasn't any problem. So the main uh, the thing is the integral guidance system here. So when we come here, uh, you can see very nicely the this this is the ICL which can be which can be seen, and then there came these. Uh, warning that uh, <coughs> that it cannot verify certain anterior posterior capsule and all and uh, because then we went for a manual manipulation there we just say okay to it and now you can see because of the cornea so you can see the anterior part we can still see the posterior part the 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 pyramid, the round air is not matching the co posterior surface of the cornea. So manually what we are, there is an option here to manually correct it, but eye cell can be seen properly. The lens end can be seen properly, but this has to be manually adjusted. Now the, in the surface mapping, we go to the anterior and the posterior. So this is the posterior part. We go to the posterior and this is how we adjust the integral guidance system and we can see now the posterior part is done. Now again for the anterior surface of the lens we are doing a little bit of adjustment and then again for the posterior surface of the lens we'll be doing a bit of adjustment. Now this is the posterior part again you can see you can see the posterior part here but still we are adjusting it so that uh, it should not cut through and uh, now this is a very steep uh, what we see, but we are adjusting it manually. So this is a very good option with the catalyst machine. You can adjust it, uh, the manipulate it, the, and the, the integral velocity will ultimately fetch that only. Once that is done, the eye is uh, sort of rescanned, and then we see. Now this is the rexus part, and this what we can see, and this is the lens, very sort of solar lens, and now this is the 
finally scanned eye and we can see this anteriorly the ICL here and we do the uh, flex here. Now the procedure is done within 24 seconds and you can see this is the rexis and then the uh, softening of the nucleus and the nucleotomies are done and it was uh, very smooth uh, the free floating uh, rexis uh, which came out in the surgery I'll show the surgery later on and there was this was a case too which was a 24 year old male and had some ICL surgery somewhere in 2017 probably he developed cataract because of ICL and on examination both eye would have been cataract and we planned a right eye flex with the LRI the left eye uh, we did just yesterday I don't have that per, and uh, with plus six diopters of synergy eye will be implanted and patient has a six six and six vision so this is just to <coughs> show the uh, synergy uh, IL calculator and this again you can see very nicely the this is the ICL here this is the lens but here because the cornea doesn't have any problem it is uh, more or less uh, K1 K2 are similar so we don't have any problem and the integral guidance system is very quick and fast and so the uh, uh, flex can be done very nicely in this case. This is the video again the showing. Now you can see very nice this is the uh, rexis which is a free, free floating you can see here only. We will see once we take out the ICL in, uh, in the same sitting and this uh, rexis part will come out by itself just with the visco and so first to show now slowly we are will go in and just to uh, take the ICL out from behind the iris and uh, you know the tucked in uh, haptics have to be tucked out and slowly you have to be very careful here uh, to not to uh, hit the iris and so that there is not me no meiosis and uh, we are taking it out tucking it out slowly now this is you can see this haptic coming out and then this haptic is coming out from the inferiorly uh, and then we once this is out then taking out the superior ones are very easy so this is taken out and you just dial it in a uh, in the direction where you can grip it properly now gripping the ICL is uh, at times can be very difficult because it's a very slimy sort of a lens and you have to have a good uh, uh, hold of it uh, you might have to try it two three times to just get catch a hold of it but uh, the technique here is just raise that uh, uh, lens uh, by just look here I'm just trying to folding it with a forceps raising it a uh, little bit above and uh, then uh, holding then holding it with the other forceps the haptic part and then pulling out now it can be done you can hold the central part also but here uh, we got the hold of the haptic and it came out nicely so uh, you know in using the two instrument one uh, and two forceps this is lens is out and uh, we are just the same uh, 2.8 millimeter in, uh, sorry 3 millimeter incision and uh, the free floating rexes you can see is coming out rest is routine uh, cataract surgery soft lens so not much of uh, FACO was needed IA was done and uh, synergy lens was implanted here uh, with a good result uh, next post-op day this is the lens implantation and uh, so we just found that uh, this can be done and uh, thank you very much for a patient sharing.